Hello fellow gamers, welcome back to another character moves at tier list today. I am going to be doing Luigi. This is my main, one, my number one main. I have a lot of mains, but this one is by far my number one main in Smash Ultimate. Um, Yeah, he's a cool character, and um, I just realized that my images are out of order again i even though i just put them in order as soon as i hit freaking presentation mode it just messes everything up but whatever i think i can figure it out since i'm a luigi mean i should be able to know every move just by looking at them um yeah let's just go over the tiers real quick so we got trash um i think you might know what move is going to be in there so um, next we got meh, moves that are just kind of, they're below average, not very good, but not terrible either. Average moves that are, you know, just pretty standard basic moves in this kit. Cool moves that are very good that you're going to be using more often than the previous tiers. Um, and then broken I, again, I think you know what moves are going to be up there, so hope you're ready for that. Anyways, let's just get started uh, with this jab, uh, which is this thing. His freaking butt slam. He does like a three hit combo and then he slams you with this booty. <laughs> kind of a funny move, but it's not very good. It's still, it's still his fastest move, but it's... Not the most useful, it's just kind of there in case, you know, people are up in your face and you need a get off me tool. Um, next we got forward tilt and just like Mario's forward tilt, you can angle it in different directions. I will say that even though his moves are similar to Mario, or well, yeah, yeah most of his moves are pretty similar to Mario, but they do function differently. Or at least most of them function differently for Mario. Because, you know, he has different physics, different mobility. I will say, like, his biggest weakness is definitely his mobility. So it is pretty difficult to use him. Especially since I've been out of practice. I haven't used him forever. <laughs> I recently started playing him again just because I've been playing other characters. Just to kind of get a feel for them. But um, where is that? This is down tilt. This thing is a beast. It is... Probably the quickest down tilt ever. Like in terms of how like how much you can use it. Wait, no, actually, no, Ness is quicker. Sorry, but it's one of the quickest. You can do like a bunch of down tilts into each other. So like you can do down tilt, then run forward, and then another down tilt. I think it's called the Luigi train or something like that. You can do like a train combo in the ground and then finish it off with like a up tilt and then an up B or something. Definitely some insane stuff you can do with it. However, it can be difficult to pull it off in a real match just because people are going to be DIing. There's also going to be input lag because online is garbage on the Switch. So, yeah. Um, next, we got up tilt, which is an uppercut. Um. I'm going to put it up here. It's pretty good for combos, for starting combos. You can do it into itself. I like it better than Mario's up tilt just because I think it has less. I think it has less end lag. I'm not sure. Let me. Yeah, five frames start up and then. Yeah, it has. Um, hmm, 25 frames end lag. Hmm. Okay. Well, it's still quick, but. You can do it a bunch of times and it'll combo into an aerial or maybe into... I think it also combos into up smash and up B. But you have to time it perfectly. Otherwise, they'll be able to air dodge or attack you afterwards. Um, Next, we got his dash attack, which is right here. This is his dash attack. And, you know, when I think of a dash attack, this is usually what comes into mind. 
Um, so how how good is it? Um, it's a pretty strong move, but you have to be like at the edge in order for it to kill. And another problem with this move is that it's very slow. Well, it's not slow, but it has a lot of end lag. Let me let me have a look. Um, where is dash attack? I think it's down here somewhere. Uh, I can't find it anywhere. Oh, right here. So, yeah, 22 frames. And it's also a multi-hit, so that means... That means it's... That means it's going to be predictable. People are going to know... Or they're going to time it. You know, you might get them a couple of times when you're first... When you're first fighting someone, but then they'll know... They'll know exactly how many... How many hits you'll, you'll try to get on you. So, they'll just be able to block it. Or jump, or yeah, or they can jump over it, jump behind you and hit you. So, definitely his most, well, not his most punishing, but one of his most punishing moves, if you whiff. Um, now, to his smash attacks, he's got some pretty good smash attacks. Um, so, we got this thing. I, I don't know, some kind of karate move, I'm guessing. Um... I'll put it on average. I'll put it a little bit higher than this too. It does do quite a bit of shield damage, meaning you can hit him with this. And then... Yeah, it'll basically destroy their shield a little bit. And then if they shield again, you can probably hit him with this again. And break it and then finish him off with an up B or something. Pretty good. Or you can do this and then up B and then it'll break their shield. At least I think it should. I don't know. I, I've never done them before. But it's a pretty strong move. And it's a pretty good kill move too. Um, up smash. This is up smash. And then where's down smash? Right here. So I'm going to put down smash and up smash. Um, up here. You know, for the same reason as Mario. It can... Hit on both sides and up it or up, sorry up smash is a good anti here. So the only problem with this up smash is that it's actually different from Mario. So it doesn't send him straight up. It sends him like it depends where you hit them. So if you hit him right here when you start with it, it'll knock him this way in front of you. But if you get a late hit, so if you hit him right here, it'll hit him backwards. So. There's a bit of an inconsistency problem, but it's still pretty strong, so... Alright, so I'm gonna put it up here, and down smash, obviously, it's both sides. I think I've already said that. <laughs> and it's also as fast as smash attack, too, so that's definitely... A plus side. Yep, look at that. And it's got... The least amount of end lag. So that's always nice. Um, wait, no, I think I... I think for up to I looked at this one, so my apologies. This is up to 17 frames of end leg, so not, not forward to that one has more end leg. Sorry. Um Okay. Now onto his aerial. So we got Nair and then these two are gonna go up here. So I'll explain later why this one's up here, but this one you use it for his zero to death, as you guys may know about Luigi as a zero to death combo. By using down throw and then a bunch of down airs, neutral airs, down airs, neutral airs. And then you finish it with an up air and then... Or, well, it depends on the character, but you're mainly going to be using air and down air. Um, but let's go over what Nair does. So, uh, right here. So it has three frames of startup. That's like, I think that's the same as Yoshi's. So it's pretty quick. And it's strong, too. I think it's always... Oh, let me look. Oh, no, it's got a sour spot, so... Okay. But it sends him directly up, as you can see by the little by the little line. It sends him directly up. Um, Meaning you can hit him with the nair, then do a jump, and then hit him with a down air. Or... Yeah, down air, then a nair. 
And I just think it works better for Luigi, just because he doesn't have the best air mobility, so it can be hard to follow up if if he had Mario's snare, which sends him more horizontal. And Luigi isn't really quick, so... I think it be works better in Luigi's kit. Um, so, forward air, I'm going to put it... I'm gonna put it here. Yeah, I'll put it. The, I'll put it the highest. Um, it's basically only used as a combo tool. However, it does send them at a lower angle, meaning you can kind of chase opponents off the map and then mess up the recovery. So, very good move. It's also fast as hell. Let me look at it real quick. Forward air. Yeah, look how much end lag it has. Like a little bit of end lag and a ton of. Wait, a ton? I don't know why I'm saying that, but it's quick, and you, meaning you can do a ton of forward airs at once. That's what I meant to say. A lot of forward airs at once, and uh, other stuff. All his aerials are pretty quick. I should mention that. Um, now down air, uh, this thing is pretty good. It's probably I, I think I like it more than there, just because you can use it more. Or not just for zero to death, but you can use it to spike opponents. You can use it for combo for other combos besides the zero to death combo. You can you know you can do a lot with it. It's a pretty strong move. And even if you don't get the spike off stage, it's still sorry, it still is powerful enough to where it'll send them closer to the blast zones on the on the sides, so you can still secure a kill with it too, which is always nice to have. You know that, that I, I like that. I don't like it when a spike is like slow and like if you miss it does nothing. Kind of like Mario's forward air. If you hit the sour spot, it does like nothing. But if you hit the sweet spot, it spikes him. It does a lot of damage. So that's what I like about Luigi's down air. It's still. It's basically a low risk high reward. That's what I'm trying to say. Low risk high reward. And finally, we got his back air, and this is his strongest aerial, since you can get a kill with it. It's not used for combos, so I may have to put a little bit lower, probably next to his smash attacks. So I'll put it right above his smash attacks. Um, but yeah, because Luigi has a higher and he has more floatier. Low, slower landing speed. It's kind of hard to combo with back air, since with Mario's back air he has better, um, or he's yeah he's less floaty. So that means he can use a back air on the ground and then quickly use another one again when you do a short hop. So, so that yeah that's why I can't put his back air a little higher. I mean I may I may even put it lower, but. You know, at least he has a, a kill move in the air. If he didn't have one, then... You know, that would be unfortunate. Even though I did say that down air is a strong move. Back air is just better at killing, so... However, you can't use it for combos. And finally, we got up air, and... You know, it's kind of the same as forward air, except it has a little more coverage. And you use it as like an ender for the zero to death on some characters. So. I don't know. These two can be interchanged. It's kind of hard to explain. Or kind of hard to tell which is better. But I think I like forward air a little bit better. So I'll put that one higher. But you know they're both basically the same. Okay. Um. So that's all for his aerials and i guess i should quickly go over zare yes I, I did get this off google images once again um so if you guys don't know luigi has a tether grab well actually obviously he has one in this game in other games he doesn't have it so i, I guess it's good to mention it but um yeah you can use a zare in the air that rhymed <laughs> um he showed out his little plunger thing and you can ledge guard with it. You can you can do some stuff with it. You know, it's decent. It's not the it's not the best Zare out there, but it's 
it's nice that Luigi has one. Unfortunately, you can't really use it as a recovery, unlike other Zairs. Kind of like, um, I don't, I can't think of another Zair that can't grab ledges, but yeah, it's not like Zamus' Zair where she can grab the edge or I don't know. Um, next we got his specials. Let's just say his specials kind of stand out. In a way, so let me quickly organize them and go over what they do. So first, we got his fireball. It's probably his least intimidating attack ever in this kit, or his least intimidating special. I'm just gonna put it right next to his there, just because they're both kind of used for the same purpose to ledge guard or to shield pressure. Um, I'm not sure what I use more. I think I, I don't know. These two can be interchanged, but I think I like his fireballs a little more just because you'll use them more often. Um, this move, freaking green missile. I'm going to put it down here. We all know that it's garbage. It's probably his, his worst move. Um, yes, I, I do know it's his. Mo it's it's important for recovering, but you know the fact that you have to use it just makes me hate it. <laughs> um, yes, I'm aware you can also get a misfire out of it, but it still doesn't save it from from being bottom to your garbage. So sadly, I'm gonna have to put it down here. And you can also stick into the side of the freaking platform, which is. Uh, it's 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 annoying when that happens. That happened to me so many times where my head just gets stuck inside the butt of the battlefield, and I get punished for it. So, worst feeling ever. However, this thing, this freaking cyclone, this thing is insane. <laughs> Definitely makes up for that. You can use it to break out of combos. It has invincibility frames at frame one, meaning if you're getting juggled or combo you can you can mash the b button and escape out of it or if your opponents are trying to get away you can kind of pull them in since it has a win box so you can pull them in you can do a ton of damage you can kill at higher percentages you can combo into it you can freaking do a lot of stuff with it um probably his most broken move this kid by far I, I honestly don't think it was intentional for it to be like that but it, it ended up being that way and I don't think it's ever going to get patched I think they tried to patch it a couple of times but it just it's still insane and now his uppy um this one is interesting like I don't I don't know how to rank these kinds of moves like for moves like falcon punch and warlock punch a mirror moves like that you know I can I could easily put him down here, but but Luigi's uppy, like there's you can do combos into it, you can confirm into it, you can do some stuff like hard reads into it, which can give you a lot of reward. But there's definitely a lot of downsides to it, so and I also have to factor the recovery aspect, so I don't know, this one's hard for me. Because I kind of want, I want to put it like up here because it's strong and it's his best kill option. But I want to put it down here because it's a terrible. It, it's not. It's not a great recovery. So I don't know. I guess I have to put it in the middle. There's really nowhere else I can put it. But I'll. Ha but I'm gonna put it at the top of average. I think that's the best I can do with it. Um, it's got its strings. It's got its weaknesses. But, you know, he still needs it to recover, so. There's really nowhere else I can put it. Um, and, you know, any up, the other weaknesses it has is it has a ton of end lag. There's a sweet spot you gotta hit. Otherwise, you'll get a flaccid hit on it, and it'll only spew out some coins. And. 
and since it go it sends you up, you can get juggled, you can get punished, and you can't really get out of it. You can't act out of it, so Average is just the best where I, where I can put it for now. Um, okay, well, let's just move on to his throws. Um, so I believe this is forward throw, down throw, back throw, and up throw. So forward throw, you're never going to use forward throw. Uh, down throw, you're going to use down throw for sure. I may even put it at the top. Actually... I don't know if I should. Yeah, I'll put it at the very top just because it's by far his best move. Like, you can use down throw into anything. You can use it into up tilts, freaking any of his aerials. You can use it into his up B. I think at like mid percent, you can use it into a mid air up B. So that's pretty cool. You can use it into down B. You can use it into. A lot of things. Um, and then back throw. I'm going to put back throw up here as well. Just because it is a pretty good kill move. So I'll put it. I'll put it next to his smash attacks. I'll put it like right above it. And then up throw. You're probably never, never going to use up throw. But it's still more usable than forward throw. So I guess I could put it right below. Uh, I'll put it like up here and I'm going to move dash attack higher than, than jab. Okay. I think this is a good tier. Um, I feel like people are going to disagree, but I, I'd i say this is pretty accurate. <laughs> Hopefully you all enjoy this video. And uh, I'm going to go record another tier list. Uh, peace.